Where is it? Where have you hidden it all? What are you talking about? Where's the money in the account? Give it to me, quickly! Why are you asking for it? Stop asking. Give it to me right now. I don't have any money at the moment. Are you going to gambling again? Are you going to hand it over or not? It's just a little money. Why are you interrogating me? Just a little? That's my entire month's salary. You make a thousand dollars a month and you're saying you have no money. Explain that. Do you think our family doesn't need to eat or drink? Do you just take my money and spend it all on gambling and hanging out with your friends? But if I don't have money now, I'll lose my dignity in front of my friends. So you care more about your reputation than our child? Well, I can't go out with no money. It's humiliating. You're not worried about our child, but you're concerned about your dignity? Put it down! My dignity is very important. Besides, I can't do anything without money. Just give me $200 and I'll go out with my friends. Going out with friends without money is very embarrassing. Are you out of your mind? Where do you think the money comes from? Fall from the sky? Am I an ATM? Why do you keep asking me for money? Now you want to nag. Are you going to give me the money or not? What are you going to do? Either you give me the money or I'll wreck the house. I'll destroy it all. I'll burn this place down. Fine. Here it is. Take it and go wherever you want. What? Only a hundred dollars? Are you kidding me? That's all I have. Take it or leave it. If not, go ahead and destroy everything. What a hassle. I'll deal with you when I get back. Don't forget to pick up our child at 4.30 p.m. Pick him up yourself. I'm busy. What? I can't. I work and don't get home until 6 p.m. How can I pick him up? Then leave work early. I'm going out with friends and I can't pick him up. I work to earn money for this house. If I don't work, where do you think the money for you to go out with friends come from? I'm busy. Can't you understand that? Do it yourself. I have to go now. What? Troy! I'll be coming home late. There is a lot of work to do. What did you feed our child? Huh? I'm hanging out with a friend. What? You're leaving our child alone at home like that? I told you, I'm spending time with friends. Don't you understand that? Why don't you take any responsibility? It's your child. You can't just leave him home alone. What is going to eat? I'm busy. Tell him to grab something from the fridge. He's only six years old. You have to look after him. You can't leave him alone like that. He'll be fine. Don't worry too much. I have to worry because it seems like you don't care about your children at all. I work hard to earn money to support our child and it feels like I'm doing everything. You don't even pick up our children. Did you know that the neighbor saw how pitiful our child was waiting alone so she took him home? You talk too much. I'm hanging out with friends and you keep bothering me. As long as he gets home safely, what more do you want? How can you be so irresponsible? Don't you worry about your child? You're out all day, drinking and gambling. And now you don't even care whether your child has something to eat. Are you even worthy of being his father? Fine, I'm heading home now. Are you happy now? You nag too much and it's ruining the fun. It's because of you that my friends all have to go home. They know it's time to go home and take care of their family. You should know that too. When you get home, remember to give the kids something to eat. Got it. Cook something for me as well. I'll eat when I get home. Are you crazy? If I cook now, we won't be eating until midnight. Just send me some more money. I'll grab some fast food. But eating fast food all the time isn't healthy, you know? Just for today, okay? Stop talking and send the money. Fine. Remember to buy something soft and easy to swallow for a child. By the way, you don't need to buy me food. I'll eat something later. Alright. What's wrong with you? How long are you going to stay angry? Do you want me to go to the cafe and ask them to refund your money? No need. Why bring it up now if you didn't ask for it that day? Stop overreacting. What do you mean? I gave the waiter a tip. Why do you keep nagging about it? It's not a big deal. A small tip? Three cups of coffee don't even add up to $12. And you tip them $50? You need to understand the hard work of people in the service industry. I wanted to brighten their day a bit. I'm just being generous. 
other people may be struggling. But does that mean our family has to be extravagant? You're so stingy. Do you know why I'm cautious with money? We don't have much. And you're giving away large tips. Don't you think it's wasteful? I'm building good karma by helping others. Life is about giving and receiving. Don't you know that? Stop talking! The more you talk, the more frustrated I become. Why do you keep harping? If it bothers you that much, then don't go. Do you think I actually wanted to go? I only went because we needed to sign a contract at the bank for the loan, and I went with you. I told you to let me handle it alone, but you insisted on coming. If it didn't require both husband and wife, I wouldn't go. Being with you just gets on my nerves. You nag too much. For example, if you were a waiter and received a tip, would you be happy? Of course they'd be happy. That's why I just wanted to make them happy. But that's if we have a lot of money, stupid stubborn thing. Who are you referring to? Not only that, you also embarrassed me in front of my friends. What nonsense is that? You want to humiliate me, don't you? Why do I want that? Why did I do to humiliate you? When I asked you for money to go out with my friends, you said no and even yelled at me in front of them. What's on your mind? Haven't we been through enough struggles? And now you want to show off to your friends? What? I'm a man and I have my pride. But you insult me and make fun of me in front of my friends. What if they tell others? Who will hang out with me then? I don't have to do anything to humiliate you. Just looking at this small house is enough for them to despise you. You're healthy and strong, yet you waste your time gambling and not contributing anything. What are you saying? You want a piece of me? Go ahead. I dare you. The only one bringing in money in this house is me, Raffish. You're only good at nagging and cursing me. My friends' families are also struggling, but they still hang out. Their wives don't say anything to their husbands. How come you're so different? How can they still care for their husbands? As for you, if you don't know how to protect your husband's dignity, you can't manage anything. What kind of wife are you? That's right. Those wives are great. Do you know why? Because they have husbands a hundred thousand times better than you. You dare say that to me. You wronged me first, but you don't feel guilty? What did I do wrong? The only thing I did wrong was marry you. How can you say that? Fine, I won't talk to you anymore. You're unreasonable. Yes, I'm being unreasonable. So, what are you going to do about it? If you can't stand it, just get a divorce. Hey, what's with the talk of divorce? Arguments between husband and wife are normal, and it's a minor one. Why bring up divorce? Because of you. You don't even try. I'm exhausted. Don't you see that? Got it. You've been through a lot. You should also consider our children. You didn't ask me to consider myself, and you even threatened to hit me. I was angry and I said that in the heat of the moment. Have you ever seen me actually hit you? Don't be mad anymore. It's time to pick up the kids and I'm ready to go. Alright, go pick up our child. Troy, what's this all about? What? What did you buy for $889? Oh, has it been shipped yet? Why so much money? They asked me to pay. Tell them to hold off and I'll pay it later. What? Fine, I told them. But what did you order? You'll find out when you open it. What? A phone? That's right, an iPhone 15, 256 gigabytes. Isn't it beautiful? Take a picture of it, I want to see. Are you out of your mind? You spent $889 on a phone. So what? It's beautiful. You're insane. I ask you, where did you get the money to pay for it? Didn't we just borrow from the bank the other day? We can use that money to pay for the phone. Oh my god, Troy! I thought you were borrowing money for a business venture and I agreed to it. But no. Did you borrow money from the bank just to buy a phone? What's wrong with you? I've been using an old phone for a long time and my friends make fun of me. So I had to get a new phone. And now what? Do you feel rich? Do you think you're more extravagant? Or did you just add more debt? But having a new phone makes me feel more luxurious. Why on earth do you still think this way? 
Did you know that the bank has refused the loan? What? I didn't know that. We're drowning in debt. Did you forget about the debt from three months ago? You lost hundreds of thousands of dollars gambling and mortgaged our house to creditors. Remember that? And now you're adding more debt for a phone. Well, take it easy and give me some time to figure out a solution. Maybe you know someone we can borrow from temporarily to pay off the debt first. You say that as if borrowing more is the solution. Are you not getting it? We only have our house to protect us. And you've nearly risked us living on the streets. Just calm down. There has to be a way if we think it through. Can't you help pay it off? How can I pay for it? When you were drinking, gambling, and squandering my money, did you think about this moment? You wasted all your money, and now you're in debt. And you want me to bail you out? You're the one making money, so it makes sense for you to pay. Why are your thoughts always like this? Why don't you think about working to help me? Help this family? Finding a job these days is tough. It takes a lot of effort, and there's nothing I'm interested in doing. You're utterly useless. I can't live like this anymore. From now on, you're on your own to solve your problems. I don't want anything to do with someone like you. What do you mean? Are you suggesting a divorce? Exactly. Divorce. I can't live with someone as useless as you anymore. What are you saying? Useless? Let me tell you, I wouldn't want to live with someone like you. If I strike it rich tomorrow, you won't have the heart to come back to me. Never! Fine then. You and your son get out of my house now. Your house? <laughs> I don't need this tiny house. Keep it for yourself. Goodbye, sucker. Troy, what have you done? What do you mean? Did you just withdraw $200,000 from my bank account? I don't understand what you're talking about. It's you! Only you can withdraw money from my account. I don't recall withdrawing money. Are you sure it wasn't a mistake? You didn't withdraw money. You transferred money to another bank account number. Oh yeah, that was me. What? Why did you do that? Well, I transferred my money to my own account. Which money is yours? That's my money. You and I share that account, so naturally, it's also my account. Money is considered common property. It's my right to transfer my money. You were divorced. Nothing is shared anymore. I don't care. As long as I can access that account, it's still my account. How can you be so shameless? After several months, you're still such a jerk. So what? When there are immediate benefits, only a fool would pass up the opportunity. I've transferred money multiple times, but you didn't even notice. I even used a prepaid credit card to borrow about $500,000. Just slowly pay off your debt. No way. Why did you do that? That's the price you have to pay for leaving me and looking down on me. You shouldn't have messed with this guy. You're insane. If you borrow money, you have to pay it back. If not, I'll report it to the police. Haha, <laughs> you're quite amusing. What's wrong with me taking my own money? Besides, I've already given you full authorization, so I won't use it anymore. I won't interfere, which means I don't owe you anything. If your account borrows, you have to repay it. You scoundrel! Do you think I'll let this slide? Are you trying to threaten me? What can you do to me? <laughs> but I think I should thank you. Thanks to you, I was able to pay off all my debt and even start a small business. You're despicable. It's not enough for you to be rid of your wife. But even after the divorce, you continue to take advantage of me and steal her money. A low life like you won't find peace. You'll be shamed by everyone for the rest of your life. Blah, blah, blah. You talk too much. Endless curses won't solve anything. Now that I have money, you're nothing to me. I'm out of your league. Don't beg to come back. I won't agree. <laughs> Take care of your debt. Goodbye. You won't have a peaceful life. Hey, Mia. Your life hasn't been going well lately, has it? My life is just fine. No need to pretend everything is okay. You can talk to me about it. What nonsense are you talking about? My life is perfectly fine without your involvement. 
I told you not to hide it. I saw everything. You're struggling financially. <laughs> what did you see that makes you think that's the case? I saw you sitting on the street asking for money. It's quite pitiful. Me? Asking for money? You're so down on your luck that you're wearing tattered clothes and sitting on the ground with a hat out for donations. You've chosen a prime spot to ask for money. It's where all the wealthy people pass by. You could make a decent amount. What? I've never done that. Now you want to deny it after I've found out? I'm telling you, I didn't do that. Since you no longer have me by your side, it seems like you've fallen on hard times. <laughs> Did you ever expect me to see you in such a pitiful state and take care of you? That's not happening. You chose to let me go. Don't be delusional. You're wrong. I'm not a beggar. You sat on the street like that. You sure look like a beggar. Don't jump to conclusions. Then what are you doing there? My blood pressure is low, so I'm sitting down to rest. These are clothes from a well-known brand. Does that surprise you? You don't even recognize famous brands like this, hmm? Well, I know I might have overreacted. Alright, I understand. If someone like you doesn't know, it's okay. You can be a bit uncultured. What are you talking about? I wear branded clothes too. Nothing I wear costs less than $500. That's pretty impressive. You must have had a successful business, right? You've got it right. I'm currently the CEO of my own company. I'm impressed. Did you start your own company? That's right, I did. Thanks for your money. <laughs> Is it that easy to start a company nowadays? Does having money mean anyone can start a company, even if you're a useless coward? What do you mean? I've done a lot for my company. Oh, really? What can you do? I manage the company, ensuring it stays strong, keeps growing, and protected from those who might harm it. I've also signed several high-value contracts. In short, without me, this company would have gone under a long time ago. I've made the most significant contributions. Is that so? Quite different from what I've heard. What are you talking about? What's different? The difference is that you've used violence and intimidation to sign contracts. You claim you've signed billion-dollar deals? <laughs> a dream. You've signed contracts worth a few hundred dollars, coercing and threatening subsidiaries. As for major companies, you can't even get your food in the door. Isn't that right? So what? I'm still the head of a company, and I have the authority to do what I want. Aren't you afraid your actions might lead to legal consequences? Legal consequences? What can the cops do to me? Why do you think the police can't do anything to you? You're pretty naive. In the business world, having connections is crucial for survival. And how does that relate to you? I happen to know the police department's commander quite well. We're good buddies. I just need to ask for help and everything will be resolved. Oh, really? You're talking about Commander Jack of the police department, right? That's correct. How do you know his name? Just a casual acquaintance. What? You know him? Well... It's not merely an acquaintance. My brother knows Commander Jack. Probably just a typical connection. We have a close brotherly relationship. Feeling threatened yet? A commander who lets a shady character like you get away with wrongdoing doesn't deserve his position. So what? What can you do about it? Well, I can't do much, but my brother can. Your brother? That's right. He's the police chief at the Axe police station. Commander Jack is one of his subordinates. I can't do anything to Jack, so I'll ask my brother to take care of it. <laughs> what? No way. When we got married, your brother was just a regular cop. How come I didn't know he held such a high rank? Well, in the six years since we married, my brother has been promoted. Besides, when I married you, I severed ties with my family. After the divorce, I returned home, and fortunately, my family forgave me. My brother accepted me back, and he's very protective of his sister and nephew. But he won't be so forgiving towards this scoundrel who caused his family to suffer. What do you plan to do to me? 
But that's fine. I haven't done anything wrong that the police need to be concerned about. Oh, but you've been evading taxes. How long have you been avoiding paying taxes? What? Tax evasion? Are you fabricating stories to blame me? You're mistaken. You've been evading taxes for quite a while because you have connections at the tax department, right? How did you find out? Yes, I do have connections at the tax department, so your accusations won't hold. You have a wide-ranging network, don't you? You even know my cousin. Huh? What nonsense are you talking about? I don't know your cousin. My cousin is your contact at the tax department. You've been bribing him to hide your tax evasion. But do you think it'll save you? It's just more evidence of your bribery and tax evasion, all gathered under my direction. <laughs> Impossible. Are you playing a joke on me? How could you have a cousin working in the tax department? It's a small world. <laughs> so, have you confessed yet? That's impossible. You can't do anything to me. A woman like you can't harm me. I'm not the useless husband I once was. That's right. You've changed. You've become even more wretched and villainous. You're growing treasure with each passing day. Shut up. You have no right to talk to me like that. After you left, I did everything I could to manage my debts. My current situation is a result of my own efforts. You abandoned me. You can't tell me what to do anymore. You've got a lot of nerve, Troy. While it's true that you've managed on your own, you did it in the wrong way. You've gone down a dark path where you've become more violent and evil. You only bully those weaker than you and pander to those more powerful. But no matter how much you change, you're still just a useless and despicable man. I told you to shut up, didn't I? I'm not as vile and useless as I once was. I have someone who supports me. Yes, the person who trusted me with the responsibility of managing this company will back me up. You have no idea of the extent of his influence. Even the police have reason to be wary of him. You're too trusting. What did you say? He's been very good to me. You're naive and easily manipulated. You're nothing more than a puppet director. If something major happens, like a police investigation or bankruptcy, you'll be the one to shoulder the legal responsibility. You have no authority. You only use your position to oppress lower-ranking employees. But when it comes to department heads and above, you're powerless. You're still as vile as ever. You're lying. I'm not afraid of anyone. I have full authority to handle everything in the company. Oh, you can make decisions? You have no say in the matter. You're just a puppet director. The deputy director and department heads make decisions for you. Your job is just to say yes and finalize things. <laughs> That's not true. I'll talk to my senior, I'll reassert my authority. Everyone else will have to submit to me. You're delusional again. Do you know that your senior is a close friend of mine from college, John? We haven't been in touch for a while, but when we met again, John still recognized me and called me Big Brother. <laughs> you have to admit, the world is smaller than you think. Your connections are my connections. No way, that's impossible. You're just trying to scare me and show your powerlessness. I'm not afraid of you. You can find out the truth by asking John. What do you mean? It can't be true. You're joking, right? Tell me what's wrong with you. Why would I lie to you? Face the truth. I'll make sure you end up in jail. You won't escape it. Go ahead and struggle. You're just a fish on the hook. <laughs> you can't do this to me. You abandoned me, and now you're doing this? I was foolish to put up with you for six years. I should have divorced you as soon as I realized you were a leech and a narcissist. You treated me that way, and now you act like the victim? I'm just speaking the truth. You did abandon me. Well, there's no point in arguing with idiots. Talking to you is nauseating. Get ready for jail. Good luck and goodbye, Troy. What? Wait, I'm not going to jail. You won't get away with this. Afterward, Troy, driven by his towering ego, steadfastly refuses to admit his guilt. It wasn't until he was beaten by John's associates 
and underwent police interrogation that Troy finally confessed to all his transgressions, even those he wasn't responsible for. It goes to show that one must reap what they sow. He couldn't expect to lead a comfortable, carefree life while avoiding any effort or responsibility. No bees, no honey, no work, no money. At least, I won't allow that to happen again. I've been naive for the past six years, and that's more than enough. Now, my son and I are leading a content and joyful life with my family. As an independent woman, raising a child on my own isn't too challenging. It's become even easier now that the worthless freeloader in my house has withdrawn. My life is truly happy and fulfilling.